When is the best time to make a move? This is John Schlotz with this month's market update. The best time to make a move is always when you and your family need to make a move. A new child, kids off to college, moving for a job. Quality of life is important. So when life says move, I'm here for you. But how about if you just want to make a move? How do you know if it's a good time? One rule of thumb is it's always a good time to buy or sell in a seller's market. In a seller's market, prices tend to increase faster than in a balanced market. Selling your house in a seller's market is better if you're selling and buying to move up or down. You may not get top dollar for your sale, but you also won't pay top dollar for your new home. If you wait to sell at the very top of the market, you will need to buy at the top also. So there's no advantage to waiting. Some sellers today think the market is due for a downturn and they say, I'll sell to today and rent. Prices are sure to drop. There are flaws to this thinking. Prices only drop in a sustained buyer's market. We've been in a strong seller's market for a long time and for prices to drop, we need to first shift to a balanced market and then move into a buyer's market for an extended period of time. In 2005, when we had the crash, it took eight months to move from a seller's market to a balanced one and prices continued to increase during that time. Then it took three more months to move into a buyer's market and eight more months to see prices drop. We're in a market today that's significantly hotter than it was in 2005. Waiting today may mean waiting for a year or two or three for prices to actually drop. While you're waiting, you're paying rent, not building wealth, not claiming the potential tax savings of owning a home and dealing with with ever rising rental rates. The shortage of housing in the Valley is not going away. More people are moving here than any city in the U.S. at an increasing rate, driving up demand and prices for renting homes and owning homes. Waiting to sell and buy will most likely cost you money. As a buyer, it may be frustrating finding a home in this very strong seller's market, but when you do, your equity growth begins almost immediately. Real estate is the best way to build wealth and waiting to build or waiting to buy will cost you money as well. Whether you're waiting to buy or waiting to sell, waiting will most likely cost you money. There are strategies to win in this market and I can help you do that. Just give me a call. I'm John Schlotz with HomeSmart.